All right, so I have got an app now, a note-taking app, where I've got this nice procedure to display a list, and when a user submits a, uh, an item, I stick it in the variable, I display that list variable in, in my app, and I store it to the database. When the app opens up, I go to my database, grab the data, stick it back into my variable, and display my list. Okay, one thing you might want is to give the user the ability to remove items. Okay, um, and that's one thing we don't 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 have have yet. And and we're going to use a what's called a list picker. It's a common um, kind of widget in in Android. And I'm going to go over here to the component designer, and I'm going to add a list picker. Okay, a button comes with it. Okay, and that button what you're going to want to put there is um, delete item I'll call it and I'm going to call it the remove list picker okay because um, and the basic idea is the user is going to submit notes um, but if they want to remove them they can click on delete item. when you with a list picker you know it's not really a button but it has an associated button and the idea is when you click that button, um, the list picker is going to appear. Okay, so the, when the user clicks this button, the list picker will appear. And I'll show you how to code the, the list picker in the blocks editor. Okay, so first thing is remove list picker, and there's two very important events you need to deal with before picking, and then also grab the after picking. Okay, and with a list picker in the before picking, what you need to do is is say what items are going to appear in this chooser in this picker. Okay, what we want to show is all the items in the note list. Okay, and the list picker has a property. It's called elements, and your before picking is almost always going to be. You know, I want to set the elements in the picker to something and usually it's well always it's going to be to some list in this case I just want a reference to my note list okay so cool so so far what I've got is if the user clicked on delete item it would show all their choices okay so it's got all the items they can click on one nothing happens right now right so right now we've set it up so our list picker knows what items to show. Okay, in the after picking block, this is the the important one. Um, we need to remove an item that was chosen by the user. Okay, and so we're definitely going to want to use the list dot remove list item. Okay, somewhere this is going to be in our code, and we're going to definitely remove something from the note list. Okay, and the other thing we need is an, an index. Okay, which item do we want to re remove? Okay, and the nice thing is, is this list picker tells you which number, which index was chosen. Okay, and so after picking, this gets triggered once the user has picked something, after they've chosen. So if I go to remove list picker, and there's a couple of things here. One is the selection, which is the actual data they selected. But there's also the selection index. And this tells you the item they chose. Okay. And in fact, what we want to remove is the selection index. Okay. So that's, that's good. A uh, couple things. Just like when we added stuff, we need to make sure we redisplay the list and we need to make sure we store the list to the database because you know now that the list has been updated something's been removed so we need to stick it back in the database the new copy so i'm just going to bring this store value down i copy paste it with control v control c or command c command v okay and then once again i've got this nice procedure i can just call display list when i'm done okay so when the list picker appears, show the note list. After they've chosen, remove 
the item they chose the, and this index is the number they chose remove it from your list store the list in the database the updated list and display the new list all right well let's check it out so here's our three items once again when we click delete item it gives us these choices let's say I want to delete item 2 when I come back voila item 2 is gone